Hello everybody, OV807 here, and today I have a three-pack retail break, and as you can see, it's not all sports. Um, but before I get to that, um, you know, obviously these are retail, so I also picked up a uh, Fab Five, here, let's focus on that, Fab Five cereal box cornflakes, and actually before I picked up that one, I picked up, I also picked up Carrie Walsh. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And now getting on to the packs. Um, I won't show you the next two. I'll start off with update. Let's start off. Um, I have regretted not buying update in the past for rookies such as Mike Trout and others. Alright, starting off. Alright, we got Octavio Dotel. Oh, there's some green thing in here. Michael Pineda for the Yankees. That's nice. Uh, Javier Lopez. I'll put him in a slant. Mark DeRosa. Patrick Corbin. Rookie, but... Alright. Gold. Oh, nice. Gold rookie. Joe Wheeland. Uh, not the best rookie, but I mean, it's still a really good one. If you guys know anything on him, please comment. Next, we have an insert. Blockbusters. Yankees get Henderson. Seems the Yankees get everyone. Like, literally, if there's some big-name guy, you could probably put his name in there, and it might work, you know. Oh, next. Nice. Uh, most of you guys hate these. I don't I don't know why. They're, I think they're cool. The design's just simple. Uh, I mean, the backs, they could yeah, they could have done a better job with. But, uh, ever wonder which player hit the game-winning home run for the Athletics in the 20th consecutive win? Scott Hatterberg. Let's see if I'm right. Scott Hatterberg Homer. Boom. I just aced that trivia question. All right, next, all-star cards. Here, I'll focus again. Got Jonathan Papelbon. Uh, nice, Paul Canerco. Joel Hanrahan. Oh, that's nice. Mark Trumbo, Homer run derby. And finally, oh, that's sweet. Ichiro Yankees. I like how they didn't put his name in the middle. They just, like, left a blank space for his last name and just put nothing there. Like, come on. You could have at least moved it in the middle and made it look symmetrical. But whatever. All right, now, next. This is where the title comes into play. I have one pack of Mars Attack and one pack of Star Wars Galactic Files. That I'd switch it up today from sports. So for you people that do not know what Mars Attack is about, Mars Attack came out um, 50 years ago, and it was a very like it was one of the most gory and just you know plain out off like oh English is bad today, but you know you get what I mean. It was like a really gory and disgusting set. Like, they had people's heads getting chopped off and stuff like that. And, like, the original cards, they sell really well. This is the reprint version, as you can see here. I'll try and focus in on that. See, it says, like, 50 years of mayhem. So this is the 50th anniversary edition. So let's get into this. I mean, um, you know, I just I just bought these because I, I've seen a couple of the cards, and they look really cool. All right, so, and you can see they're in order, like, so... Here's number 26, and they go in order. So, like, the tidal wave. And, like, you can see those buildings getting blown up and crap. And there's someone in a UFO like, doing crap. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. The tidal wave. Next. The sky Blah. The sky scraper tumbles. See? that? So the Empire State Building is being blown up. Next. All right. We got a gory one. Attacking an army base. All the army people are on fire. And then one's being abducted, or looks like, or is, unless that's an alien. Next, Earthmen land on Mars. Oh, this must be when, like, the Earthmen fight back, I'm guessing. So, like, they're parachuting in and shooting the Martians now. I like how the Martians' heads are, like, just... Like, look at that. That's, that's crazy. All right, next. Martians' last stand. Deleted scenes. Oh, so this one wasn't... Must have not been in the original. And you can kind of tell, actually, like... I mean, so the non-reprints ones, they have a certain look, and then these are like ultra-focus, everything in focus and stuff. All right, so now the Martian's dying. Oh, looks like it's on Mars. Oh, what's this? 
Lord of the Fleas. New Universe. Alright. Is this some special Black Border thing? Oh, it's a Mars Attack Guide to the Universe. Guide to the New Universe. Lord of the Fleas. Kind of sounds like Lord of the Flies for any of you that read it. Did I get... Alright, yeah. So that was... I mean, this is just... Like, if it's... I mean, it's probably, you know, it's not going to be worth that much, but I think the pictures are just really cool to look at. So for any of you that want to go buy some, I believe it, I mean, I think it's retail, you know. I couldn't, I can't really see how they can make a hobby box out of this, but I think it's retail exclusive. So Mars Attack. Alright, next. Getting on to Star Wars Galactic Files. Now, um, you can get like sketch cards in this and like foil stuff. I originally wasn't going to buy this, I was going to buy another pack of Update, but then I thought, what the heck, you know, and actually, like, there was a little thing above the sign for them selling it, and it said, like, the most complete Star Wars set ever, so that was the main reason for deciding to buy it, and, you know, I, I mean, they probably won't be worth anything, but it'll be fun to open, you know, just like the Mars Attack stuff, so here we go, Star Wars Galactic. I probably won't know most of the people because I'm not like a Star Wars nerd. Oh, I know the first person. Darth Sidious, Sith Lord. Next, oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi when he was a Jedi Knight. That's nice. I wonder if they're like color-coded by movie. That would be awesome. Chewbacca! Nice. All right, good so far. Darth, I, what? I'm, I'm lost. Who, who is Darth Kreitler? Let's see. Um... Era, the Old Republic. Blah, 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 blah. Extended line, blah, 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 blah. Switching sides from Jedi to Smith Sith over the years. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he was part of the Clone Wars. So he was part of that animated series. That's why, like, there's not a real picture of him. That's why it's just, like, you know, a drawing. All right, next. This looks... Oh, nice. Vehicles. Luke's Land Speeder. I'm guessing that's from the fifth movie. Oh, another creature. Oh, creature Jawas. Nice. I love Jawas. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Are those the little guys? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think so. But anyway. Oh, you guys probably saw the next card. Which is what we got here. Um, what is it? Man, the foil is really hard to... Um, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, that was that before... Oh, this was in the second movie, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, nice. Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> I like the little tag, Gangsta. We got Gangsta, Jabba the Hutt, and Tebow, an Ewok scout. And then we're back to Darth Sidious. So, yeah, that's, that's really cool. I mean, let's see what the highest number card I have here is. 226. So, I, I mean, I have, like... So the set has to be over, I'm guessing, 230. So, I mean, this is... I mean, if you love Star Wars, there you go. That's, like, the biggest... I mean, they even include stuff from the Clone Wars, which, like, I don't I don't think anyone really watched. But that's about it. This video's been really long, and I... I think I seem to always make long videos, and I'm sorry for that. Oh, yeah. Ideas. Um, I'm trying to think of something that differentiates my channel from, say, any other channel that posts cards and, you know, opens them, because what I think I'm not getting subscribers for is because I don't have the money to go out and buy, like, Triple Threads boxes and all sorts of that boxes. So what I was thinking is I could come up with something that people would actually want to watch on my channel that's other than, like, you know, buying a box, since I can't do that. So some possible ideas I thought of were, um, like, uh, making a weekly rant on stuff that, and sports, sports related, of course. And my other idea was making how-to videos, like how how and when to use eBay, or like, you know, how to ship your stuff so no one gets pissed at you, i.e. don't use a plain white envelope. Um, you know, just stuff like that. So if you have an opinion on that, if you think I should do one of those things, or if you think I should do something that you come up with, um, please comment below or PM. So that's it. Peace.